They had no right to win, yet they did. Air Force veteran Hugh Palmer reads from the wall of the World War II Memorial in Washington. There is something in the human spirit, a magic blend of skill, faith and valor that can lift men from certain defeat to incredible victory. As veterans from all over the country flocked here for the Memorial Day holiday, Palmer's sentiment is simple but serious. It is certainly great to be recognized because war is not a pretty thing. The realities of war, a shared experience, which so often leads to gratitude. Her husband was in Vietnam. But for Navy veteran Colgate Salomon, it's a time for some realities to change. It's a travesty for those who have served our country and made huge sacrifices to, to not receive the care they deserve. The crisis unfolding at VA hospitals around the country is something veterans from all generations say they simply can't comprehend. Certainly those that were injured deserve better. Here it is written, a great tragedy has ended, a great victory has been won. Today, as veterans deal with a new kind of tragedy, they're hoping the battle to get care for themselves will soon be over. For now, it's places like this, which celebrate those who made sacrifices large and small and followed the military code of leaving no one behind. Perhaps the best reminder, those still here who almost always say something like this. I'm very glad I did, and I, I was among the most wonderful people in the world, in the country, you know, those who have served in the military. I'll do it all over again. As they look back, a new generation of veterans looks ahead in hopes that this war to receive medical care will not define them. In Washington, I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.